Oh no, I'm really hungry. Thank you, handsome. My husband brought me grapes. I am struggling again. Oh, joy. Last time I got just under the total word count that I needed for the day, but I'm still fairly close to where I need to be. I think uh, over the next couple of days I should be able to make up for that fairly well. I can do this. We can survive NaNoWriMo. And next question, where do I go from here? I want to have a, maybe not a riot, but like a, a brawl. That's the right word. I want to have like a brawl happen in the marketplace in this story and then I need to have like a, a rescue where the main character and her sister get rescued by a puka who like jumps into the fray and I'm not very good at writing fight scenes I usually have to have reference material to be able to do it well I'm hoping that that I can at least write enough to where it's fine for right now and then I can just replace it w with something that's better later on that's the goal, anyway. We'll see how well that works out for me. Right now, I'm writing in the perspective of the main character's sister, and the main character's sister is kind of vicious. And it's really hard to get into that mindset as I'm starting to write. <laughs> I'm used to trying to be very supportive and happy and cheerful, and so writing somebody who's just not any of those things can be a little challenging. I definitely think that everything's going well so far in the story. Even if the writing itself isn't up to the standards that I usually like to put in, usually the high quality writing that I get in only ever shows up after I'm done editing, so it's pretty par for the course to write something kind of meh and then, <laughs> and then fix it later. Today is day three of NaNoWriMo. I'm a little bit behind to start out with, which I'm not super excited about, but I'm within 200 words of where my uh, word count should be. So it shouldn't be too difficult to get caught up unless I just completely mess everything up. Now last time when I ended off, I set up notes for myself <laughs> so that I would remember what I was supposed to be doing, which is a good thing because I've been reading all morning and so obviously my brain is somewhere completely different than, than on this story. So. It's good to have notes. Yeah, I'm excited about where this is going. I like the story, how it is so far. I tried to write the same one last year. I didn't end up liking any of the story, and so I decided to just do it over again. And sometimes that's just what you gotta do. I was so worried after the second day of still not being back where I needed to be. Even if I'm slightly off today, I'm still a lot closer than I was yesterday or the day before. I'm sure I can make it work. Maybe. Probably. Hopefully. <laughs> I kind of feel like NaNoWriMo just snuck up on me and i um, scrambling to get back on track. Welcome to CC Writes. My name is CC Lucky, and today is day four of NaNoWriMo. I'm very excited about it. I'm getting I'm getting a good way into my story. I finally caught up yesterday on my uh, on my word count. I was a little bit behind to start off the month, which was it's not the best way to start everything off, but I'm getting back on track and we're just gonna make this happen. So I'm up to I'm up to the seventh chapter of my story. This is the furthest I've ever gotten. Uh, in this story with this rewrite that I'm doing. And I'm just super happy to have been able to make it this far because I, before I kept trying to write it and then I would erase everything and then I'd rewrite it and then I erase everything. So getting to the point where I'm able to actually just like write something down and keep going is really, really a nice place to be. 
So I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on my writing sprints. I do four writing sprints every single day, uh, 25 minutes each with a five minute break in between times. So that's how everything's going to be set up. And let's just jump into it. All right, 25 minutes on the clock. Oh man, I'm, I'm excited. I'm doing good this time. I even made up for part of the word count that I didn't manage to get before. And I'm at a point in time, this is, I'm at a plot point. And I'm very excited to be at this plot point because it starts to show the main character is, she's sort of this character of hope that elicits change in the world around her. And you don't really see that too early on in the story. You just see these like little hints that she has this innate ability and it's not in the magic that she has, it's just in who she is as a person that sort of changes the way that people see her and see people like her. So I'm very excited to finally get to this plot point because it's a very important one. So originally with this scene that I'm writing, I was going to have the friend of the girls trying to solve all of their problems for them. I wanted it to be like a knight in shining armor moment that blows up in his face and have the main character be the one who saves the day. But instead, rather than subvert the male character in order to empower the female character, I decided to give the male character his pride and then still allow the main character to save the day on her own. And I think that that's better. I don't really like subverting characters in order to uplift other ones. That's, it makes for bad storytelling, I think. Cheap, lazy storytelling, and I don't like that. So far in my NaNoWriMo story, I have 7,212 words, and I only needed 6,668 for today's total. So yeah, that's awesome. I did really good today. I got to a part that I was really looking forward to. I'm almost through this scene. I am, man, I'm just charged up after that. That was a really good writing session and I'm really proud of everything that I did. So it's the fifth day of NaNoWriMo, super exciting. So it's not that far to go to reach the goal for today. I've been doing a little over what I absolutely need to in order to um, complete my daily word count so hopefully by the end of the month i'll have a little bit extra so i'll be able to win NaNoWriMo and still have a little bit of a, a buffer there i'm very excited to get started and let's yeah let's just do it i was struggling there because i was trying to figure out where i needed to continue the conversation that was happening but i put in a chunk of exposition that i really liked and i didn't want to get rid of it especially because yesterday i put in a bunch of exposition and then I didn't like it and I erased it and it made things more difficult for me in the long run. I have a bad habit of erasing things when I don't like them and you really have to avoid that during NaNoWriMo. Okay. I have had multiple outages in my internet in just a couple of minutes so that is not looking good for the Homestar Runner. All right here's what I'm gonna do. I need at least one writing sprint in order to get what I need for the day. I'm going to at least do that. If I keep having internet outages during that time, then uh, I might have to end it early for the day. Hopefully that won't be the case. Hopefully I'll be able to get the last two in. It's always something during NaNoWriMo. I kind of want the background to be like dotted in over time, mostly through like small tender memories that they share. That's really how I like to give backstory because it's like little things should trigger like small memories and not memories of everything all at once because that's the way that it works for people. You know, you'll get a smell or a sound or someone will say a phrase to you that triggers something and it's always just kind of a flash of memory instead of this is my entire history that I'm thinking about right now because that's kind of silly. I think it's silly anyway. 593, I almost got 600 words that time. And I am over 9,000 words into my novel. That's awesome. I'm almost a fifth of the way done. About 9,049 words is where I'm at. 
Oh man, that that feels good. That feels real good. <laughs> it is day six of NaNoWriMo. Last time I got over 9,000 words total in my story. I'm ahead of schedule so far. It's really exciting. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm really happy how this is all going because it's it's not always easy. Um, I've been really tired for this first week of NaNoWriMo and certainly puts up a challenge because I don't always actually want to do the writing. Thankfully I've managed to to push through that level of ex exhaustion that I've been feeling and have found the motivation to write despite that. I completely forgot what I was doing just now. I had a plan and that plan was to write something. Now what that something was is a mystery to me. <laughs> Why am I such a bits? This is the problem when you have an overactive imagination. I started writing half of a line. I had a plan with where it was going and then I just disappeared into my own head and went along a really long line of thought and now I can't remember what I was planning to do in the first place. Why am I like this? Okay, I've already wasted three minutes. I have not written very much at all up to this point, so I'm just gonna keep going and maybe it'll come back to me. But I guess sometimes my brain does not work the way that I like it to, <laughs> but it's fine, I will survive. I probably need a five minute break at this point. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to get to the word count that I needed for today at that one, but I am still about 200 off. I mean, I should be able to get to it during this next one as long as I don't have a complete brain meltdown like I just did. <laughs> and there goes my internet. Well, that was convenient timing, as always. Oh no, I'm really hungry. So speaking of the internet going out, sorry about that, but at least it gave me time to get up and grab a snack. Thank you, handsome. My husband brought me grapes. I am struggling again. Oh joy. I did not do very good. <laughs> I certainly could have done better. I got 320 words and oh my goodness, that was awful. For the day is 10,720 words. I mean, that, that's certainly nothing to sneeze at. I'm well over where I need to be for the sixth day of NaNoWriMo, so very excited about that. Today is day seven of NaNoWriMo. I'm right on track to hitting the goal for today. I am well on my way through my story. It's gonna be a lot longer than I initially had planned for it to be, but that's okay. I'm just gonna work my way through it and we will hopefully have something interesting by the end. It's really hard to get a word count in when the internet keeps going out. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the internet to connect. Please, 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 please connect. Please, please. <gasps> Maybe? No. Please, please, please connect. Internet, please connect. Boom, 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 internet, internet, please connect. Internet, internet, please connect. Internet, internet, please connect. Please, please connect. Why, oh, why do you try me so? Why, oh, why do you try me so? Why, why do you try me so? 
Internet, please connect. Oh. Okay. Internet, Yoda said there is no try. It's either do or do not. So, like, do what Yoda said. Be more like Yoda. Internet, you are not being like Yoda. Then just flicker at me. Well, this is certainly productive. Are we being hit by a solar flare or something? Maybe I should do exercise every time my internet disconnects. I'll be jacked by the end of NaNoWriMo. This is bad. This does not look like I'm going to be able to get much done today. It hasn't gone down this long before. Should I restart the router, you think? Okay, almost fell over. Stupid new solar cycles. Did I win? I hope I won. Yes, no, maybe. I did not win. It does not look like I'm going to be able to... Oh, did it work? Did things happen? No? Alright. So I'm going to stop the stream because that one's obviously not going to work. I feel like my brain is on fire. 12,449 words into the month. I'm doing better than I reasonably feel like I should be. <laughs> we did it. It's fine. Even though it was difficult, I'm really proud of myself for, for doing what I needed to do to, to stay on top of things. But yeah, so that's all I've got for today. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today on CC Rights. I really hope you enjoyed our time together and I will see you